Hello. Oh, she's on. Hello. I hope you can hear me. How you doing? Welcome in. It's good to see you. Thank y'all so much for coming in. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to wait a few seconds for maybe a few more people to come on in. That would be a blessing to see the family. Let's see what we got going on. We got a stitch in time by Lisa Girl. Honey, hello. Welcome in. How you doing? It's good to see you. I'm going to share me out real quick. So, um, This is not going to be super long today. We are going to probably be on here for about a little bit of a half an hour or so. Uh, or maybe it could be 20 minutes. Who knows? But whatever the time frame is, I am always excited to share this time with you all. So thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate your love and I appreciate your support. You guys are amazing. Amazing. Let's see. All right, let me go to my channel here and uh, looking for, there I am. Welcome in everybody. I will greet you here shortly. I just want to make sure I share me out real quick. I got my glasses on. Lord have mercy. I can't see nothing with these on. Okay. What is the Royal Court family? They are letting everybody have it today. I don't know. They've been special today. Okay, I hope y'all are doing good. Here we go. All right, family, welcome in. Good to see you all. I must say, it is always a pleasure. I did share me out real quick. And so this is what we are going to be getting into today. Uh, knit, pray, share, written by the lovely, the awesome Lisa Hennessy. Um, I'm here for it. I got my Bible here. Look, I got my, I don't know. Do, does anyone read their uh, Bible? I have a read. I have my regular Bible and then I have this one year, one year Bible. And so for the 11th, May the 11th, you know, I love it because it's, uh, has the days and it has the different, the old Testament. Some of them have old, they have the old Testament, new Testament, and then they put like a Psalm and then they put, or a proverb also. So, yeah. So I love that. I love it. So I'm here for it anyway. Hello. Welcome in. Good to see y'all. Always a pleasure. Let's see who we got in here today. We got A Stitch in Time by Lisa. Hey there, welcome in. Good to see you. And we got Bree. Breeze is crafty. Creations, honey, good to see you as well. Um, I'm always excited to see everybody. It's so such an honor to have you all here. And hello to those who are in the bushes, honey. It's a blessing to have you here. So thank you. Welcome in. Um, so today we are continuing with the uh, Knit, Pray, Share. I just uh, showed it to you and I'm going to uh, show you what we are going to be talking about today. Y'all ready? This is so cute. I'm here for this for real. I mean, this has been super adorable. 
I love these pages. They so thick. These pages are so thick in this book. I know I love this book. If you don't have it, honey, you should grab your copy. But anyway, check it out. This is what we're going to be talking about today. You see that? That is the Walker Woolly. And that's what we're going to be getting into today. So let's go ahead and get jiggy with it. Um, let's say a uh, prayer and then we're going to sing a little bit. We'll just, I'm just happy to be here today, fam. And I'm happy that you're here too. If you haven't done so already, feel free to hit the thumbs up. It'll be amazing to uh, <laughs> see those thumbs come on in. Okay. Thank you, family. I appreciate you again. You guys are most uh, amazing and I appreciate your love and I appreciate your support. All right. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time we have to share in you. And I pray that you get the glory out of this time as we go through this wonderful, wonderful, inspirational, devotional pattern book. And Father, I pray that you just touch the hearts of those that are listening under the sound of my voice. Father, those that are in the chat, those that are in the bushes, Father, just bless them right where they are. Father, and I pray that you would just shed your love abroad on us, that we can be examples of what you are calling for in these last and evil days. In Yeshua HaMashiach's name we pray. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And amen and amen. Amen, family. All right. What song shall we sing today? Um... Oh, I always think this is the day. Let's go ahead and do it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in it and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Amen and amen, family. I just love it. So I'm here for it. I hope you are too. So let's go on and get jiggy with it, shall we? So this is Walker Woolley. Uh-huh. This is the Walker Woolly. And so we're going to go ahead and get into this. I just imagine so many uh, wonderful people that we could just bless with something like this. Uh, There's so many people that would really uh, be inspired or feel blessed to have something like this. Amen. Amen. All right. It says, when my mother-in-law was alive, she enjoyed knitting with me at the assistant living facility where she resided. And every week we would have knitting club and with some of the other ladies who lived there. Yeah. Okay. A majority of the residents had rolling walkers in either in red or blue. Now I know with those many walkers and red and blue, and if they're all kind of gathered in the same area, man, it would definitely be a challenge to see whose is whose, right? You can totally walk off with somebody else's. Walker, based on the fact that you either had a red one or a blue one, and they're all just kind of sitting together somewhere. So she said, I couldn't tell you how many times a resident with memory problems woo, would walk off, would wander off with someone else's walker. Do you see? Yes, absolutely. So she said, I thought I bet I could knit something for them, for some of these ladies, right? So yeah, she said, I came up with the idea to make what I call a walker woolly. The first on uh, the first one I made with uh, furry yarn. So the first one she made was with furry yarn. Yeah. And so it was a big hit. And I had others uh, asking for them after that. So if someone tried to go off with a walker that had a walker woolly, they didn't get far before the rightful owner... <laughs> brought it to their attention. Like, hey, excuse me, ma'am, sir, person. That is mine. You don't see that furry little cute little uh, ruffly thing? That's mine. That, that, that belonged to me. Yes. Thank you, but thank you. <laughs> For sure. So if you are in a knitting group, this is a great opportunity to use some of your leftover stash, yarn stash. Okay. So as a group, make these woolies to take one of your to take to one of your local senior assisted living places or centers 
Not only do the residents enjoy receiving these handmade gifts, but they also love having new visitors. And that would be awesome. What an awesome opportunity to stop into an assisted living facility to create one of these or, you know, or something like it to bless others. Yes, I love it. I'm here for it. It is super cute. So what she used with this, it looks like she used um, um, Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn or I Love This Chunky Yarn. So she used Chunky Yarn for this. So this is so nice. And let's go to the scripture reference. I love this. It says a Levit Leviticus chapter 19, if I can get it out. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 32. And it says, stand up in the age, present age. Sorry, let me repeat that. <laughs> I don't know what my problem today is struggle a little bit, but it says stand up in the presence of the aged, show respect for the elderly and revere your God. I am the Lord. That's Leviticus chapter 19, verse 32. Did I say that right? Leviticus family. <laughs> I don't know why I'm struggling today to say stuff, <laughs> but that's what it is. I love that. How beautiful is that? And you know, I'm going to Definitely check out to see uh, the um, scripture uh, that the scriptures that are in other versions. You know, I like to do that every so often. I love to check those out. So give me one second. Let's go ahead and go to Leviticus chapter 19 and we'll look at verse um, 32. Verse 32. There it is. Oh, I love this. Okay, let me um, do compare. Let's do parallel. I like to see it parallel. Yes. So verse 32. So in the King James Version, it reads this way. It says, thou shalt rise up before the um, orry head and honor the face of the old man and fear thy God. I am the Lord. But it's, I, listen how it says it in the Sefer version. It says, you shall rise up before the gray head, okay, and honor the face of the old man and fear your Elohim. I am Yahuwah. Yes. And then it says, uh, let's see. I like that version as well. Oh, I don't have this one up here. Hold on. I got to pull this one up. Okay. There it goes. This version, this version is the ESV version. It says, you shall stand up before the gray head and honor the face of the old man, and you shall fear your God. I am the Lord. So basically that's saying is stand up in the presence of those that are aged, right? Those that are elderly, those that, um, and we are to show respect towards them. We're to honor them. Amen. Because one day we're going to be there. If we're not there already, honey, we go get there. Right? Absolutely. So, yes, respect. Show respect to those who are elderly. And um, and revere, revere the Lord. Revere the Lord for he is our God. He is our God. So I do love that. I love that version. Let's go to the prayer here, which is beautiful. It says, dear Lord, I know that there are elderly in assisted living centers who feel neglected and forgotten by their loved ones. I ask that you lead me to those who need to be reminded that even though their earthly family may have abandoned them, you never will. It is in the name of Jesus that I pray these things. Amen. Amen and amen. Isn't that beautiful, family? I tell you what, when my grandmother was in a nursing facility, y'all, I made it an effort every week to go by and see my grandma. Because I know I would like to imagine having to leave a home that you've been in for over 70 years. Over 70 years. And now you have to go to this facility where they can, um, you know, help take care of you. Um, wow, that had to be something. And to, to make that room that they give them their own, you know, to try to bring things. I mean, I, you know, I think of it and it's like, oh man, you have all these, um, 
these items that you have that remind you of home in your home. And now you got to bring a few of those items to this small place. And so to, um, sure, I'm sure they, they feel a certain way. Like, I guess this is, this is all I have. And, um, so to bless them with your presence, number one, okay. To be able to bless, uh, those that are in those facilities with the present, with your presence and to present them with something so cool as a Walker Wooly, that would be so great. My grandma, she had one of them um, electric, um, what do you call them? Electric wheelchairs. So she'd be driving around. She could drive around in hers. It looked like a little vehicle, like a little car. I was like, grandma getting it. Um, and, you know, to bring in the, um, she had a recliner that they brought in uh, from home that, it was electric. It, it would help you stand up and help you sit down. She had one of those. So she would be in one of those too. She would be sitting in her recliner sometimes there as well. Um, but I know she always appreciated us uh, coming in and I made her a lap can, a throw, you know, um, being in that space. And she was able to have that, you know, it's like, and just imagine being able to bless someone that you don't know that uses walkers um, with those walker woolies. Wouldn't that be a blessing? But, you know, with my grandma being there, it was, um, it was a blessing to, to be able to go and see her every week. I, I went every week to see my grandma. Mm -hmm. When she was in there, yes, I did. I, I love my grandma. I love my grandma. And it's so funny because our um, birthday uh is the same day, right? Even though she's in heaven right now, we share the same birthday, <laughs> birthday day. So when she was 83, I was 38. It was crazy. I was like, that'll never happen again. But yeah, that's how it was. It was when I turned 38, she turned 83. It was crazy. I was like, I never even thought about it. But my aunt, who was a birthday person, she always brought that to our attention. And so she was always cool with it. But yeah, this right here, is a blessing. So if you could bless somebody that's in a nursing facility that may feel um, neglected or forgotten, and, and you know, everybody may not feel that way, but um, some people may feel that way that are in those spaces. Um, because like I said, you're leaving a home that you've had for years. I, I can't even imagine um, packing up a room or packing up this house and then all you can take with you are a few things that are reminders of your your home. And then you're in this space with all these different people and they're coming in and I don't know. I, I just always thought that was like, wow, inter you know, interesting to have to uh, spend life like that. Yeah. But, you know, for some of us, that that's what, you know, that's what it, it could be. You know, I remember my other grandma, who um, was my mom, my dad's mom, she stayed with us. She stayed in, she stayed with us. And, you know, at that time we were blessed to have my grandma uh, live in the same house with us. And it was all of us who were always there. There was never a time nobody was there because that was at a time where my mom, she, um, she didn't work. So she was able to be home with us when we were little. And um, my grandma was there as well. Yeah. So that was a blessing. And then so I would have like aunts and stuff come by a lot because my my grandmother stayed there. They were, you know, it was a blessing to, you know, see family come in to hang out and uh, see my grandma, my other grandma. And that was until I was about. I want to say seven or eight. I can't remember the exact age, but I know she went on to be with the Lord when I was younger and I don't remember it and I don't ever remember going to the services, but that was uh, that about that. <laughs> but it's all, if you could bless somebody that is, you know, that uses a walker, wouldn't this be an awesome thing to do to bless someone with a walker woolly? So yeah, I'd love to hear what you have to say about that. Do you have any good memories or memories of just visiting a space like this and maybe seeing someone, one of your loved ones there. And, you know, I remember going and seeing my um, husband's grandma. She, in Florida, we went to see her in, um, 
we went to see her uh, in, in a nursing facility, assisted living. And she saw me for the first time. She's like, oh, she looks like a doll baby. I was like, oh, I love you. <laughs> you're you, you my favorite. <laughs> you're my favorite. She did. She said that. She's like, you look like a doll baby. It's like, oh, thank you. Doll babies are cute. So <laughs> I took that as, oh, you cute. Yeah. Um, when I um got to meet his his uh it was his mom's mom. Yeah, it was is a blessing. It's a blessing. Um, I didn't get to meet his grandmother from his uh father's side or his um grandfather's. I don't I never got to meet any of those, but I was a privileged to say that I was able to meet his grandma, his mom's mom. So that's a blessing. So what do you, what do you think? Um, any really uh, fond memories that you may have or any memories that you would like to share on, you know, that, or can you think of any place that you could go to bless someone who is um, elderly that could really utilize uh, this wonderful Walker Woolly, or you can also make a lap game because honey, when people are in a, uh, those wheelchairs and, and it gets a little chilly sometimes. It'd be nice to have something just across your legs. A lap can is perfect um, for for something like that. And yeah, a pre, you know, I, I call it a prayer shawl, of course, a, a lap gan prayer shawl to just um, you know lay across their legs it is it'd be a blessing for sure. Hi, Susan Ernst. Susan Ernst is here. Hello, welcome in. It's good to see you. But yeah, anytime that we can be a blessing to someone, you know, uh, you know, those that are elderly or whatnot, let's see what we can do to to bless them. Do you have any other creative ideas of what you can make to bless someone um, that is in a, a assisted living facility? Can you think of anyone that you could bless with that? I have an idea to literally just call the ones down the street for me. They're actually putting a new one in where I live. And um, I would like to make items and bless those individuals with something to let them know that they're not forgotten and that they are loved and that people are praying for them outside of their families. Yeah, I'd like to make a little trip and say, what can I make to bless these wonderful, wonderful um Seniors that are here, I want I want to be a blessing. I want to be a blessing. So yeah. So anyone have any ideas that they would like to share of what? So a lapkin is one. If you if you're um if people um some of the people that you know they are um they may not be in a wheelchair or may not use a walker, but they're there and could probably use something to keep them covered up and all that. Uh, a prayer shawl, uh, a lap shawl, or a afghan, a prayer shawl, a uh, lap, uh, what I call it, lapkin. And um, this, this uh, walker woolly is perfect. That would be perfect for that, for sure. If not, it's okay. Um, but yeah, this is a blessing. So check it out. See if that's something that you could bless somebody that may be um, elderly that could really use this. Um, it's very nice. I love how it goes over the walker um, railing right there in between there. And you could also put maybe even also you could put them on the sides here, like up here, right here, one right there. All right there, too. That would be fun for sure. Oh, Susan says, I make hats for our local food pantries. Oh, that's a great idea. Yes, that's a great idea. Okay. I love to hear that, Susan. But yeah, um, this book has been a blessing to me, and I pray that it continues to be a blessing to you. And if you haven't grabbed yourself a copy, feel free to grab yourself a copy. Listen, you do not have to know how to knit to enjoy 
the inspiration that comes from this wonderful inspirational devotional pattern book. Okay. It is amazing. I love it. I'm here for it. And I'm happy that um, I get to share it with you all. So it just blesses my heart. All right, family, that's all I have today. Um, if all is well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to call it a, a day. But guess what? I'll be back out here on, let's see, Saturday, Saturday, probably around 930 p.m., something like that. I'm going to be excited to uh, work on, uh, I think I'm gonna work on a different craft. Maybe I'm thinking I'm gonna do the double ended crochet. I don't know if you've seen those before, but I have double ended crochet hooks. Um, if you haven't grabbed yourself one, you should grab one and you can make really cool dishcloths with this. And so I think I might get jiggy with it. I'm thinking about getting jiggy with it tonight anyway. So it's close by cause I, I'm feel the need to double end crochet. Yes. Yes. You turn it, you work it and turn it. So I'm here for it. Maybe, I don't see a lot of people doing these on um, out here on these YouTube streets. So I may just go ahead and do some videos about working with these because this is so fun. Yes. Oh, you have some of these? You do? Uh, yeah. The double ended crochet hook. Yeah, let's come out in these YouTube streets and get busy with it. I mean, we crochet regularly, which is always fun and it's always great. I enjoy it. I also enjoy um, different methods of crochet. Uh, I love the Tunisian. I love the, um, what's it called? Bavarian? Bavarian and the mosaic. Yes, those are different styles, different methods, um, and also different tools. Our Tunisian crochet Yes, and our um, and the double ended crochet. So yes, I have one that has a cord in between. Yes, I have a lot of those. That's I got a stack of those. The double ended with yes, and that's perfect for a um, what I want to say. Those are perfect for like when doing blankets or or afghans. Maybe you know what, Susan? Maybe we can do a craft along where we're doing a reversible. A reversible um, a blanket. Let me show you. Let me see if I have one. Here's one that I have. I got them right here. Speaking of, I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but this is what I have. It's a reversible with the double ended crochet hook and they're reversible afghans. Maybe this is something that we can do. So if you could see like this is, um, where's my finger at? Okay. This is one side and then this is the other side. So maybe this is the front and this is the back. Isn't that cute? So maybe something like that. We can get out here and get jiggy with it. But there's other ones too um, that are like that. There's um, the square. If you want to do the square ones, this book has a lot of different items. I don't know if you can find this book anywhere. Uh, I'd have to see. Let me see if they still have it somewhere where you can grab a copy of that because this is really really cool let's see um it's called the reversible crochet reversible scrap afghan let's see if they have it hmm Oh, here's one at a yarn shop. I was just trying to see if they have it available at, oh, this place is sold out of them. Let me see if they have it on, um, let's see if Amazon has a copy. Let's see, the worst they could do is not have a copy, right? It doesn't have to be this one, but it could be one that's similar. Let me see. Let's see if they have the book. Hmm.
There are five used copies out there um, in YouTube land. There's five used copies out there. And I'm not YouTube land. Five used copies in um, what I want to say on Amazon. <laughs> I had to think about it. There's five used copies. They're expensive, though. Ooh, they're expensive. If you want to grab one, you can. I grabbed this years ago. When I say I grabbed this years ago, I am not kidding. That's why when I see books that I think that are nice, I go ahead and grab them because you know, pattern books, because you never know if you'll see that pattern book again. Now, you don't have to grab this one, uh, Susan. There is another way that you can, if you want to do a different kind. Let me see. Um, reversible, reversible, Afghan pattern. Let's see if we can find. There might be a few. Um, give me one second. Let's see if I can find this for you. This is cute, but I don't know if it's the same. I need to see if it's. I feel like it is not what I'm looking for here. Give me one second and I can, let's see, double ended. Let me just put double ended crochet. That might help. Double ended crochet. Hmm. I know it's not that many. We're going to see if we can find a double ended crochet uh, pattern. Oh, this is nice, but I can't tell if it's um, double-ended or not. But they're out here. You just got to find one. Let's see. This is that one. But this one. Yeah, this one just uses a, um, it doesn't tell you what kind of hook. Usually the pattern book will say double-ended crochet hook. On there, maybe that's what I need to put on there. Let's do double ended crochet hook. There we go. Makes it a little challenging to find here. Afghans, baby blankets, something like that. <clears throat> that could be really cool. But anyway, that's a challenge to find. But you said, um, okay, I also have a lot of craft books. Yeah. Hey, listen, we have to buy. Let me tell you, if you see a craft book that you like and your heart is saying, man, I don't know if I should get that book, but you know, I mean, you're in your heart. You're like, I really want this book, but then your mind is going, I don't know if we should get that book. Go ahead and get it because you never know when they go out of print. And if you can get it for the price in which they're um, putting out there, like I have this one for the double ended crochet. I have this one 
for the double ended crochet. And I have a couple more. I have two more just for the double ended crochets. Okay. So, um, I would just say, Hey, grab you, <laughs> grab you a copy. Just, just, if you see a book and you, it's got patterns in it that you love, go ahead and grab it family because eventually you'll get to it. Right. It may not be that day. Like I've had, I have not made this blanket yet. When I bought this book, I bought this, I want to say in 2000, either the year 2003 or 2004. Okay. So if you can do that, I would say go ahead and be jiggy with it. But um, maybe we'll do a craft along with this. I don't know. Being that it's out of... Um, I have a couple of books recommended by Kelly from I Bring It. Yeah, for sure. Um, let me see if they even still have this. Um, but this is, um, let me let me go to this website and see if they have it there. They, there's a website in this book, and I don't know if that website is still in business or not, but we can already find out right now. We can already find out right now. Oh, it is. They changed the name. This is um, Annie's. So let me see if they have this book there. And I'll, I'll, if they do, I'll pull it up so you can see. And then you'll be able to go grab you a copy. This was the American School of Needle of Needlework. And so Annie's is doing a celebration. Let's see if... Um, Magazines, I don't catalogs. Okay. Let's see what they have. Here we go. Here we go. Books. Let's see if they have the one that I'm speaking of here. Because if they do, I'll tell you, they have a lot of them. Wow. If you go to this site, you'll see uh, there's a few books that I have here that are um, not real expensive. Okay. So here's a sampler on the double, on the double crochet. Or is it double? Maybe it's just double ended crush. I don't know, but I don't see the double ended here, but I know they have those books as well. Well, let me click on it and see. And that book is only uh, $4.99. No, it doesn't say what to, let me, let me put double into crochet, see what happens. Oh, they do have a double. <gasps> they do family. You're not going to believe how much these costs either. Let me show you. Here's one. This is one that costs $2 and no, they say you save $2.95. I thought it said $2.95. It does. The, it, it does say $2.95. It's like they drew the line over the uh, price. Let me show you. Crochet on the double. Yes. So that's what that's what we see. That's what we're looking at. There are 80 patterns in here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yes, I bring it every day. Yes. You said Google this one. Crochet the complete step by step guide. There's 80 patterns in there. Is it 80 patterns of on the double, like with this? Or is it um, just regular crochet? Because that's cool too. I mean, either way. But I was looking specifically for the uh, double. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to just pull it out so you can see. Let me see if I can just... Um, I, had, I bought this book not too long ago. I'll show you this one. Sale price, $3 in. Oh, wait, let me go back. All right, let me share this with you. Oh, no. Okay, let me share this one with you. Um, let's go get it. Let's, let's see it, fam. I have this book right here. And right now, if you go to this website, you can get it digitally now. This is digitally. This isn't the hard copy. I'm a hard copy kind of girl, but I like digital as well. If you're into digital, you can get this for the small low low of $3.95. So if I hit add to cart, look, $3.95. There it is. That's it right there. So you can do that. So this is double ended uh, hook crochet, double ended hook stitches, but the blanket one, let me show you the one with the blankie then. That was just one of, all right, let me stop sharing that for a second and let me go and grab so you can see where you can grab the, grab a pattern. Let's see. There's a few that are out here like that. This is what I was showing you, the one that I have. You can order this paperback. I'll show it to you. This one is at Amazon. Let me go ahead and share this with you so you can see. Share screen. Okay. This is it. And it's uh, 14... It's 1408. So if you do buy it, that's 1408. I didn't see this one. Hold on. This is another one. See, I'm gonna end up getting this one. I am, I'm gonna end up getting it. So just so you know, I am gonna grab this one up. Cause I do I don't have a whole lot of books that are in here like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab that one. So that I can have different versions, different copies of those. So there you have it. So those are, um, so you can grab this one off of Amazon for 14, which is not bad being that I got this in 2003, probably for about $9.99. So for it to be $14, that's not a, too bad of a hike on price. But yeah. I'd love to get them cheaper than that. So, but this is good. I got a, I got a bunch of these. I got the ones, you know, the wooden ones with the uh, cord in the middle so that I can do larger items like this. So, yeah. So just think of things that you can bless um, our seniors with out here and, um, uh, I'm not going to keep you guys much longer. Thank you for <laughs> staying some time. But all that to say, I'm going to be working on something, uh, probably a dishcloth. So you can probably follow along as I work on the dishcloth. If you have one of these, this is a size of four millimeter. And I'm going to work on one today. Let's see what size is the hook. I have a five too. 
this is a five. So the dish cloth that I'm going to work on is either going to be either a four or a five hook. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. With these, that's what I have. So yeah, I have a four and a five. <laughs> these are they. So, um, yep. Yeah. I just love different ways to do crochet. And if I can show other people the other ways that they can enjoy it as well, I want to do that. So that's what we are here for. So y'all stay blessed and stay encouraged. Um, I pray that this uh, devotional uh, sparked uh, some creativity in your heart to bless someone, uh, and, uh, one of our elderly uh, friends or seniors or senior friends. Uh, with something beautiful to either put on their walker or if they have a wheelchair, that as well. Okay. Well, y'all stay blessed and stay encouraged. Before we go, I'm going to sing a little bit of this song. I know I sing it all the time. Um, yes. So I need you to survive. Yes, because without y'all, honey, I wouldn't be out here in these streets. You understand what I mean? Yeah. It'll be, it'll be something else. <laughs> that is for sure. But I do want to sing a little bit of this to you, okay? All right. And just to remind you that you are loved. And honey, we ain't an island. We need people. And I need you, honey. You need me. We are here because we are all part of God's body. All right? All right. May the Most High bless you. And let's go ahead and get ready to head out. I need you. You need me. We're all a part of God's body. Stand with me. Agree with me. We're all a part of God's body. It is his will that every need be supplied. You are important to me. I need you to survive. I pray for you. You pray for me. I love you. I need you to survive. I won't harm you with words from my mouth. I love you. I need you to survive. It is his will that every need be supplied. You are important to me. I need you to survive. Amen. And let me check out that book real quick. I think I might already have it, Susan. Let me check, though. I'm going to pull it up on Google to see if I already have it or not. It's called um, Crochet. Um, the Complete... Uh, what's it called? The complete uh, step by step guide. Let me see. I might already have it. Let's see. Let me see if this is it. Is this the book we're talking about? Not crush. It's a huge book. Yes. Um, I do have one. Um, I don't know if you have this one, but this one, I got this one right here. Let me show you. Can you see this? I have this one. And um, I'm going to see if I have, I have another one that's huge too. I have a huge um, book. Let me put my glasses on. Child, I can't see anything over it. But I do go. Oh, okay. I have the big book of crochet stitches and I have crochet stitch design. I might not have that one that you're speaking of. Let me see. Let me see if it's out here. Um, real quick. You said it's a huge book. 
and it's called um let's go here you don't have that one? Oh yeah that's a good one too it's called crochet the complete step by step guide okay let me put that in here step by step guide right let's see Oh, that looks pretty cool. Let me see if this is the one you're referring to. More than 80 stitches? Yeah. Okay. I see it. I'm going to add that to a cart. That's a little pricey, but I'm going to add it to my cart anyway, and I'm going to get that later. Matter of fact, I'm just going to... Oh, they only got one left. Yee. Well, I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to have to wait. So I will put it in my cart. I will put it in my cart and I will get that when I get paid because <laughs> it's that pricey. Yes. On thrift books. Is that a website? Let me see. On thrift books, dear. Let's see. Thrift books. Okay. Let me see if they have it there. Um, it's, it's a good website. Okay. So you already got it then, the complete, let's see, the complete, uh, right, let's see if it comes up, oh yeah, there is temporary unavailable. We receive about 27 copies per month. This is a great uh, site to, I wonder if they have the one up. Let me see if, okay, let me see if they have this. <laughs> I'm going to bookmark this. This is great. This is a great site, family. Thanks for sharing that, Susan. You're amazing. You know that? You're amazing. Okay reversible let me see if they have this in there they could you never know you never know you never know unless you try you gotta see right it said they get we receive fewer than one copy ever every six months of this one so you can put it in your wish list to add it if you want to get that one the one that i have this one right here that's every six months that they get that. So I'm going to save it and I'll be able to get that later for sure. Thrift books, you're amazing. Let me add that to my favorites. Hello. I just added it to my favorites family. Okay. Ways we can save money out here because we be working it out. Yeah, so, well, oh, thank you. Oh, you're amazing. All right, family, but listen, I got to head out. It's been a blessing. Thank y'all for indulging me and uh, letting me share what I'm going to be working on this weekend. Oh, that's so nice to know, Susan. She said they even send you an email when the books become available. I appreciate that. That is what a helpful way to do that. All right, family. Well, listen, y'all stay blessed and stay encouraged. Come back out here on Saturday. I'm going to be working on some double-ended crochet. That's the plan anyway, okay? You said after you, so many books, you get a free one. Ooh, yes, I like free. That'd be the best price. All right, family. <laughs> stay blessed, stay encouraged. I love you all. I appreciate your love and support. And um, we'll be back out here Saturday. If you want to come stop by Saturday night between 9.30, 9.45-ish. Is, I'm not, you know, real. I'm real uh, loose with that time there. So uh, 
feel free to stop by. I'll put up a notification to let you know I'm out in these YouTube streets. All right. So you stay encouraged. Until next time, family, it has been a blessing and a pleasure to spend today with you all. All right. Until next time, fam. Bye.